This is our adductor machine. We can work in the adductor complex. Chris is in a nice seated upright position. We started with a machine uh, not quite yet set to range of motion. So there's a handle at the side here. Chris, if you can lift the handle for me. Chris is going to take the machine to his own range of motion. So we're looking to go to the point where he feels a moderate stretch, but it's still comfortable. He's not stretching himself too much. He also needs to make sure his pelvis is in neutral against the backrest, shoulders back, chest forward. OK, the feet should be flat on the pad. Ideally, you want to go into a slight dorsiflex position, which is more preferable than being in a plantar flex position with the toes down. OK, Chris, in your own time, bring the knees together. The range of motion we're looking for is from the point where your client can get to that's comfortable to where the pads meet at the middle. The movement should be nice and smooth. As Chris is doing, we have a nice control. Avoid the weight stacks touching each other or hitting. Common compensations here. Chris, a bit too much momentum this time, so a bit more too explosive. So people tend to do, go too explosively, and you can hear the weight stacks are touching each other. So that's better, nice smooth control. Just adjust your foot position for me as well. Change the heels onto the next run up. Also, people tend to have the toes pointing down, being in a plantar flex position, whereas whenever we get the chance, we'd like to lengthen the gastroc and slice. So again, just change that foot position. So that's our default setting, neutral or slightly dorsiflexed. Alternatively, some people tend to flex forward in the spine, losing posture through the thoracic region. Maybe sometimes the head might come forward. Too busy looking at what's going on here, rather than thinking about their posture throughout the movement. Core should be engaged, smooth movement, and this is our adductor machine.